Now that I live in the Pittsburgh region, this has become my new home park. Located in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania, Kennywood has been entertaining guests well over a hundred years. Being an older amusement park, Kennywood has definitely developed its loyal fans. Generations of families visit the park on a yearly basis. When Kennywood removes an older attraction, to some of the guests it's like losing a family member. When you arrive at Kennywood, you will notice one pleasant anomaly. The general parking is free. Compared to other parks where you can pay upwards of $25 to park for the day, it's nice not having your wallet raided before even stepping through the gate. The park also features preferred parking, which is reasonably priced as well. Another neat feature of Kennywood is that the park gate and the parking is on one side of the highway, so everyone must walk through a tunnel that leads right into the park. It's actually a nice feature because it's like leaving the real world behind and now walking into a place of fun and happiness. Kennywood has a decent collection of classic attractions. Some of these attractions are extremely hard to find anywhere else in the world. Examples like the kangaroo and the turtle. The park has done a great job keeping the classic feel while also growing the park with newer modern attraction. Kennywood is a family park at heart. This isn't a thrill seekers paradise, but instead a great park that the whole family can enjoy together. Featuring seven roller coasters, Kennywood has a healthy variety of roller coasters with different levels of intensity. Phantom's Revenge, the park's arguably best coaster, is also a fan favorite amongst enthusiasts. Because Kennywood is built alongside a valley, Phantom's Revenge uses a valley to its advantage. This is actually a common trend amongst the coasters at Kennywood. Both Thunderbolt and Jackrabbit feature drops into the valley. Besides the coasters, Kennywood has multiple other attractions. Some of the classic attractions include the Kangaroo, Whip, Turtle, and its carousel. Modern thrill rides are the Black Widow, Arrow 360, and Cosmic Chaos. Kennywood also has five dark ride attractions, which is rather impressive for a regional park. Kennywood once again covers the old and new with dark rides. Noah's Ark is a classic walkthrough dark ride attraction, while Ghostwood Estates is a modern, trackless, interactive shooter ride. When it comes to the food, every fan of Kennywood will tell you to visit the Potato Patch Fries. They make fresh cut fries, all with the traditional toppings that you love. My wife will tell you that they are the best fries in the entire world. Okay, so I've been singing praises of the park, but now I would like to bring up some problems or issues you could say that I have with Kennywood. The biggest issue that I have with Kennywood, which is something that many other parks seem to suffer with also, is the employee morale. When I take a trip to Kennywood, many of the employees don't seem to be engaging and interactive with the guests. Some even come across zombie-like. I know not every single employee is like this, and usually the worst of the bunch are the ones that make a lasting impression. But this is a serious issue. I know not every amusement park can be a Disney, but maybe management needs to try some better tactics. In regards to the same issue, ride operations can be rather horrendous. Even on less busy days, I have noticed how slow the ride operators will move the crowds through the lines. Some of this is due to only one train running, which can make the line for Phantom's Revenge literally twice as long, but still, they don't seem concerned with their overall efficiency. So with that being said, how would I rate Kennywood? Well, I've just developed a new rating system that I'll use on all future reviews. I'll be rating the park in five different categories. Number one, rides and attractions. Two, the atmosphere and theming. Number three, the food. Number four, park staff. And final, the overall value. How far will your dollar go for you in the park? So for Kennywood, my final score is an 8.1, which is great. So final thoughts, Kennywood is a great regional park with excellent family attractions. The park has a couple standout roller coasters, but overall a healthy collection. The park staff will need some improvement, but not an extreme detriment to the park. Well, that's it for today's review. Tell me what your thoughts are on Kennywood in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of the other videos I have to offer, including roller coaster creations with No Limits 2 software and reviews on other amusement parks that I visited.
Thank you.